From local camping to traveling abroad, adventure is what really keeps us going. We are planning on trading in the city life for a new adventure by building a dream cabin in the woods. I'm Marta. And I'm Gerti. And this is our channel, MNG Adventures. Like many, we had to take a minute to really redefine what adventure meant to us this past year. And well, we decided to purchase some vacant land three hours north of Toronto to start a new we project. We have been living in our 600 square foot condo for almost five years. And when this global situation hit, home quickly became our gym, our office, and our chill zone, and our restaurant. Cottage country real estate was exploding and buying an actual cottage wasn't going to be feasible for us, so we decided to look into some vacant land. We quickly found out that vacant land can only be bought in two ways, by either refinancing an existing property or just having outright dough. We spent the next three days trying to get pre-approved to refinance our existing condo so that we would have enough money to buy some vacant land. I drove out on Monday to check out a few properties we were looking at and I felt a spark with this one. I put in an offer that night and we were bidding against someone else, but the next morning we found out we got the property. So we're walking back to our newfound property. Let's rewind. We had visited here in the summer and had fallen in love with the area. Don't get us wrong, we love living in the city and are probably going to miss it. The convenience, the beauty of old buildings. We'll miss being able to get a coffee or a latte within five minutes of our home. And we will miss taking walks among this old building that we got in the back. Yeah, it's a really nice neighborhood. We'll definitely be sad, but at the same time, we're excited for what's ahead. So this is the ski resort that is going to be near our house. So we're walking back to our new found property because I had to drive here twice today and got stuck in the snow, got to meet some of our neighbors, and luckily. We, and we, we looked very embarrassing because we, we got stuck twice, not just once. Yeah, and we don't have snow tires and snowmobiles had to get us out of a tiny amount of snow. So definitely buying some snow tires to be oh, out here. Right here. Oh yeah, this is where we got stuck once. It's quite a winter wonderland. I couldn't believe how much snow there was, but this is our property. We tried to walk it earlier. As you can see, there's probably like three inches of snow. This is the entrance and it goes all the way to the back. We realized we're really excited for winter activities here. There's tons of people ice fishing and snowmobiling and just like, it's beautiful, obviously. Um, Stan's been loving the weather as well. So let's check it out. <sighs> so we walked, you can't see, but like way from down there to where our house is going to be on this little hill. The snow is so deep, it's going into my shoes definitely need longer boots. Ah. Hi. Are you watching me struggle? Hi. What's up? What's up? This is our future home and then our guest cabin will be down there. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Whew. This is a, quite a workout. Can't wait to get some snowshoes. I almost fell down the hill. Oh. It's awesome. And now that we're back to reality, we really just need to wait for Mother Nature to do its thing for the snow to melt. Uh, that's giving us the opportunity to really um, hone down on some key fundamental things that we need to do before you can even start thinking about building. Um, so in our next video, we'll cover off some of the things that we're doing while we are waiting for summer to come. The next while for us is going to involve building on our vacant land, starting with a baseline knowledge of zero on what's next. 
so please follow along as we embark on our next adventure.